This is City News Everywhere. None of us went into the healthcare profession uh, to ever have to decide who, who can live and who can die. We want to care for everyone. The Alberta Medical Association's President of Emergency Medicine is warning about the dire situation in the province's hospitals. As ICU capacity continues to be pushed to the limit by surging Delta cases, Dr. Paul Park says some critically ill COVID patients are not getting ventilators. This is not an issue about ventilators. We, we have tons of ventilators. So the, the, the vent itself is not a rate limiting step. It's, it's the people that care for the patient after they get put on the vent. Those are, uh, that's our precious limited resources, the healthcare workers. Dr. Parks warns that healthcare workers are standing on the edge of a cliff when it comes to the situation in the province's ICUs. Not only have surgeries been canceled, but doctors may soon be making life and death decisions, even for people who don't have COVID. You know, it's not normal operating for us to cancel pediatric surgeries or brain tumor surgeries or cancer treatments. It's, that's not normal. But, but as soon as we move to that triggered, that is indicating that even patients having strokes, heart attacks, critical, like a, maybe a major motor vehicle collision, that could mean we're in a position where we can't provide them the critical care we normally would even if it's not COVID related. Alberta Health Services tells us in a statement they've opened up 42 ICU surge spaces in the last week to help meet demand, as well as redeploying resources and staff. In Friday's COVID update, there are 243 people in the ICU, 210 of them unvaccinated. Earlier this week, AHS President Dr. Yes. Verna Yu told media Here. the only reason ICU beds were opening were because of deaths. Dr. Park says Alberta's we healthcare workers have done all they can. All we're basically taking all, taken all of the steps to get right to the edge of the cliff. We're, we're standing on the edge of the cliff. In Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.